Tonight, the numbers drop again, but the Premier wants to extend the state of emergency. We've got to protect public health. There can be no economic rebuilding. There can be very little else until we get this public health problem fixed. Also tonight, recriminations and a resignation as branch stacking allegations hit the Victorian Liberal Party. Hundreds of homes destroyed as fires rage across California. And waddling on the web, Phillip Island's famous penguin parade moves online. Good evening. Tamara O'Dyne with ABC News. The Premier Daniel Andrews will ask Parliament to extend state of emergency powers for up to 12 months. We had our lowest daily case numbers in almost two months today, 116. But with another 15 COVID deaths, the government says the virus is too dangerous and that it needs the option of emergency lockdown powers long term. Iskander Razak reports. Donald Trump in hospital with serious concerns for his health. The president given a cocktail of experimental drugs to treat coronavirus. Plus, police ramp up patrols as the premier slams Melbourne beachgoers he says are putting lives at risk. Hotel quarantine workers paid millions to sit at home and do nothing. Seven News special investigation. Heroes pull a driver to safety after his car plunged into the water at Brighton. And the Saints march on into the finals as the Magpies take on the Eagles. Live coverage from inside Optus Stadium. Live from Melbourne, 7 News with Mike Amor starts now. Good evening. US President Donald Trump is tonight in hospital undergoing experimental treatment for COVID-19. It's unclear exactly how the 74-year-old contracted it, but a White House event without social distancing has come under intense scrutiny. Tonight in Nine News, stopping the spread. A hardline testing and tracing blitz to crush the dangerous Kilmore cluster. The winners and losers from... Josh Frydenberg's budget as working families push for free childcare. Who killed Jared? A dad's heartbreaking plea to catch his son's killer. Andrew Crisp denies he was pushed by the government to backflip on his hotel quarantine evidence. A haunting final lap of the MCG for cricket great Dean Jones. And Essendon in crisis as Joe Danaher quits to be a lion. This is Nine News with Peter Hitchener. Good evening. Melbourne's average daily number is finally in single digits following just six new cases as we creep toward an easing of restrictions. But more than 200 people are now isolating in Kilmore in the race to smother a worrying outbreak. State political reporter Andrew Lund. Every VCE student to be assessed for the impact of COVID-19 as the state records another 450 cases and 11 deaths. Nightmare revelations from aged care workers as residents are moved back into one of our worst hit homes. Victoria's economic lifeline, JobKeeper, extended in a bid to save thousands reeling under stage four restrictions. Hoddle Street mass killer Julian Knight is reportedly seriously ill in hospital following a hunger strike. And Richmond football players closing ranks after shocking post-match behaviour was captured on camera. This is 10 News First Melbourne with Jennifer Cutt. Good evening. First, the state's coronavirus crisis has forced widespread changes to the way VCE students will be marked this year. It's a significant win for Victoria's 60,000 Year 12 students whose lives have been thrown into turmoil during the pandemic. This is Prime 7 Local News with Madeleine Collignon and Carl Linders and Ellie Wicks with your local weather forecast. Tonight, the long, slow crawl back to normal continues for frustrated Wodonga business owners. Local gyms in a jam, once again overlooked when it comes to easing COVID rules. The New South Wales Premier continues to dither on reopening the now pointless closed border. Now, Prime 7 Local News. Good evening. Restrictions eased overnight for regional Victorians, but many south of the border say it's simply not enough for an area that has been virus-free for months. 